Isaac Newton was a pretty smart guy. In fact, he's so smart that you've probably heard of him. He discovered these things called the laws of motion, and they're so important that the universe wouldn't work without them. He also invented calculus, but that's not important right now. But I don't think I've ever stopped to ask myself, is physics real? Until today. <laughs> the first law of motion is every object persists in its state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line unless it is compelled to change the state by forces impressed upon it. Let's go test it out. So first we gotta figure out if an object at rest stays at rest. To do that, we're gonna use domino number one. <laughs> I can confirm that it did not move. So an object at rest tends to stay at rest, but what about objects in motion? Ha! So the domino didn't stop until it hit the wall. That makes sense. <laughs> so law number one checks out. The domino on the ground didn't move. That makes sense. The domino that I threw, that's complicated. When it left my hand, it was going in a straight line, but then gravity happened. The air happened too, but we don't care about that. So gravity put force on the domino, compelling it to change its state, which also checks out with law number one. Let's do the second law. Force is equal to the change in momentum per change in time. For a constant mass, force equals mass times acceleration. So according to the scale, Domino number three weighs exactly 18 grams. And gravity on Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. And what you might be wondering is, Josh, where's domino number two? I couldn't find it. Domino number three, in three, two, one. Pause. It's science time. So if we take our mass and acceleration, we can figure out how much force gravity puts on the domino. That works out to about 0.176 newtons. 0.176 newtons equals 0.0395 pounds, which equals 0.6 ounces, which is exactly what we see here. Math is awesome. Now, back to the video. Three, two, one. Let's go do the third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, otherwise known as the thing that makes rockets work. Speaking of which, I remember one time when I was a kid, we launched bottle rockets using bike pumps, and I remembered that I had a bike pump, and a water bottle, and another domino. <laughs> Scare's gonna like blow up all over me. <laughs> Ball rocket on three, two, one. Oh, where did it go? <laughs> no, domino number four fell off. So when I fill it up with air, the water bottle flies forwards. But why? When you stuff air into a small space, you increase the pressure. That means that the force is pushing along the inside of the bottle, but when I open it, suddenly the air has a way to escape. The air starts to fly out by pushing on the rocket and the water, and that's the action. The reaction is that the rocket flies the other way. So according to this, the third law is true. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.